I'm going to install this Zex purge solenoid. There's the solenoid, and it's got the double spray nozzles. I think that'll look pretty neat. Then it comes with all the hardware and the push button. That's the inline adapter. It comes with that one hose. This cylinder here is so much bigger than my NOS solenoids. See, it's only a it's only 150 shot uh, super. I guess it's called a super sniper plate system. But I'm thinking I may use this solenoid. here and then use this one for the purge because it doesn't matter how much the purge flows you can still get all the air out of it but this way if I use this big solenoid on the nitrous side then I can probably go up to bigger horsepower pills and I'm running 60 pounds of fuel pressure so I think the even though the other fuel solenoid is a small one too I think with 60 psi I think it should flow enough fuel so I just have to kind of experiment with it and see the way I've got my nitrous wired I've got a this wire here it goes to both solenoids and it, it goes to a relay inside the car and that's the arm it goes to the arm switch so once I arm it it's hot then I've got this throttle bracket here that supplies the ground so when you go wide open it triggers the ground and it's power to the solenoids. I think that's going to work okay. Okay, I've got that solenoid mounted in the air filter housing still clears it. So that looks a whole lot better than that little rinky dink thing. That'll be plenty for purge solenoid. I've just got to wire this in. But then this will go into there and then the purge line will come off there and split off in the two and this thing had had windshield washer nozzles right there and right here so that's probably where I'll run the purge line if I got if they're long enough I may have to run them closer together anyway I think that's gonna work out good I've got the nitrous system hooked back up I use the big solenoid here that's for the nitrous and then the fuel comes off there runs to that solenoid. This adapter goes in between the, the feed line and the solenoid and it's got this little T off of it and that goes to your purge solenoid. I'm trying to determine where I want to mount it at. I mount my purge solenoid there 
and it'll be underneath my Kyle induction scoop and I'll I'll bend these to where they'll cross in midair. I think that'll look pretty cool. And this has just got to be up to there and I still got to wire it. I think that'll be a good place for it. Okay there it is with the scoop on it. They're not real obvious from out here but and I think they'll cross up here somewhere. I might have to adjust them a little bit more but I think it's going to work good. All I gotta do is wire the solenoid up. Got that mounted. Got the tie downs for the nozzles. We'll see it shoot some plumes in a minute. Someone in there to push the button for me so I can see it from out here. I guess I have to look at it on the video. Okay, I just mounted the purge button there in the center. I just had a dummy switch in there, but now everything's functional. So I can't wait to try it out at the racetrack. It'll be the first time I've ever driven a car with nitrous. And I've just got a 100 horsepower pill in it now. But I think it's going to really wake this big block up. Because it's a low compression, small cam. Uh, big block, so. I think it'll be fun. So I'll take you all along with me whenever I go to the racetrack. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to everybody later. Bye.